Today, let's walk through the new hire entry process. First, navigate to My Employees, New Hire. Here, we'll enter what's considered the shell of the employee. All you need to do is fill out everything that is listed in red. Let's go through from the social security number down to pay information. We'll enter whether or not they're a W-2 or a contract employee. We'll enter in their first and last name, date of birth, and gender. And then we can move on to employment information. We'll ensure that we select the correct start date. And then the rest of this information here as well is defined by your organization. Whether or not departments and divisions are required will be set up per your standards. We'll select a position, a status type of active, and an employment type. It's very important to ensure that we select the correct employment type. This will allow employees to enroll in benefits if they're eligible. We'll select a benefit group, as well as which location they'll be working from. Again, if these other organizational levels are required, they will also be highlighted for you to complete. Next, we'll fill out pay information. We'll select the correct pay group as well as the pay method. Are they a salaried or an hourly employee? We will enter the pay rate and the pay basis. We suggest you select either hourly or yearly, depending on your pay method. If the employee is a salaried employee and you wish for them to have auto time on their timesheet, select auto timesheet. You can also tell the system exactly how many hours you wish to default on the timesheet. Lastly, we'll enter an email address for the employee. This is very important as this is where the dedicated service team will reach out and ensure that the rest of the onboarding experience is processed. Once that's complete, if you do need to complete section two of the I-9, certainly watch that video and learn how to complete that process.